Okay, so we'll come to our mat. We're gonna stand on the top of the mat, facing the short edge. Give yourself a little bit of room, one foot space in front and bring your feet apart. Okay, we'll come into our feet. We're gonna sway back, feel into our heels. Imagine, okay, lots of good analogies. Let's imagine we're on the beach and we're sinking our heels into the sand and we're making an outline of our feet with the outer edges of the feet. So feel into that space and then feel into the balls of the feet. So that's where you make an imprint in the sand or if your foot is wet. That's the knuckles of your toes. And then we'll come back and forwards, just gently. And give the toes a little press down. Okay, so we'll connect into all those areas and we'll begin to really straighten the legs, pull the hamstrings up onto the bone, bring your chest forwards, a little puff up. Okay, pause, settle into that space and then start to begin realigning the shoulders back. Let the throat be open, the head and neck lifting up, but not rigid. So you can go there and then soften into it. Good, feel your breath. And you feel the sense as you inhale, the chest rises and the body moves outwards. And as you exhale, sink into the sand, ah, firm the thighs. Okay, let's do that two more times, two more cycles of breath. Breathe in, expand your chest. Exhale, keep that expansion, but send your weight into your sand, your feet within the sand. Good, settle in and know that just that little practice can come into any part of your day, doing the dishes, brushing your teeth. Okay, so let's link our eyes open. We're gonna begin. Okay, so depending on the amount of room you have around you, arms can come out wide or in front of you. Okay, so choose what suits your space. Breathe in, lengthen up, look up, send your body up, firm the thighs. Good, as you exhale, dive down, soften the knees. So we'll start gently, soften a lot and the fingertips come to the floor and the top of the head drops and you come into yourself. Okay, and then you're gonna let your hands walk up your legs until they're at your knees and send your gaze forwards. Now let's breathe in here, breathe in. And then breathe out, find the floor with your fingertips, fold in. Drop your head, chin to throat. We'll do that one more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Now make your whole hand meet the floor. There's lots of bend in the knees. Step one leg back, gently, graceful, without sound. And then send the other leg back. Graceful, feet wide, plank pose, knees down. Okay, just one little alignment thing. Squeeze your bum. Notice where your gaze is. As you exhale, bend your elbows, lower your tummy down. <sighs> lower your toenails down. Imagine someone's pulling the back of your head up. So breathe in, little cobra, light hands, look forwards. Breathe in. You may feel your bum squeezing here. And then breathe out. We'll do that two more times. Breathe in, lift. The back of the head up, look forward, soften your hands. Good, one more time. Exhale, Good. push into your hands. We're gonna sit back into our heels. So push, keep your knees down, tuck your toes under, stretch back. Okay, extended child's pose, head not to the floor. 
Squeeze your elbows a lot. Okay, make your hands press into the floor. Okay, we're gonna breathe in once here. Toes should be tucked under. Breathe out here, keep your elbows squeezing. We're gonna come up into our first down dog. Breathe in, knees rise up. Heels are high, let's keep the heels high. Shake out your head, pedal out the feet. Keep your elbows straight. Walk the legs out. Good. Breathe one more time in as you pedal the legs and out. And then firm both legs. Breathe in, look forwards. We're gonna step one foot forwards and then the other foot forward. Feet hip width apart. And then exhale, you're in your forward fold, deepen and bend your knees. Begin to push into the floor to rise all the way up standing. Breathe in, arms reach. We're gonna come straight back down into Uttanasana, forward fold, exhale. You can always have a nice soft bend in the knees here. Breathe in, hands slide up your legs, straighten your legs, push into your hands, look forward. Exhale, melt down into the floor. Okay, we're gonna step one leg back and then the other leg back. Plank pose, again, knees down for these first few. Squeeze your bum, notice where you're looking. Look beyond your mat. Exhale, lower down. Ah. Toenails pressed, squeeze your legs. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Now increase your breath, come up a little bit higher, bigger cobra. Exhale. Same thing. Inhale, squeeze your bum, lift your head, hug your elbows in. Hold, exhale. As you come down, be pressing your hands, energy in the hands, okay? Press into your knees, push yourself back, tuck your toes under, stretch back. This is a really kind of like a cat stretch. Elbows are squeezing, bring your chin to your throat. Are you ready to come up into down dog? Hopefully, let's go. Breathe in, stretch the legs, lift the knees up, downward facing dog. I feel like I need to stretch the backs of my legs, so I'm gonna walk them out. You can stay in your down dog. Be here for another two breaths. Good, and on that last exhalation, squeeze the legs, full down dog. Good, breathe and look forward, step there. Now this might be a, Step halfway there. It can be a walk up. Okay, you want it to be graceful, not like a big elephant stomp. <laughs> okay, exhale, fold into yourself. Press into your stand, feet, right? And then launch yourself to standing. Okay, let's repeat that. Breathe in, big stretch up. Breathe out, fold. Slide your hands up. Breathe in. Press your hands, encourage the legs to push back, squeeze them. Exhale, fold, step or hop your legs back if you're ready for your hop. Boop, hop them back. Okay, give it a go, knees lifted. And then exhale, all the way down. You can always keep your knees down. Press your toenails down, hug your elbows in, look forward, breathe in, cobra. Pause. Good. We're going to do two more of those. Breathe in. Lower. Now this last one, you can do the same thing, or you can really squeeze the legs, come onto an up dog, coming pressing into your hands, thighs lift. Now from here, knees drop, toes tuck under, 
stretch back. Look under like as if you're looking at your knees and wasting no time. We're coming straight into down dog. And now we're gonna to try to stay here without the movement unless you really need it. Breathe in, squeeze your thighs. Elbows are straight. Last breath. Now, if you predominantly step forward with one foot, try to step forward with the other foot. Okay, look forward, step, and come forward. Fold in, drop the top of your head. Press your feet into the ground. Remember that analogy of the stand, that image. Breathe in, come all the way up. Exhale, fold. Dive in. Good, breathe in. Now you can bring your hands up to your knees or you can come into your fingertips and look forward. Good, exhale, fold. Okay, we're gonna step one leg back. Okay, drop the knee down of that back leg. Inhale, come up, crescent lunge. Okay, hold. Turn and look up to your hands. And we're gonna come out, bring your hands to the floor. Now step that back foot up and we'll do the same thing with the other leg. So breathe in first, come to your fingertips, look forwards. Exhale, step your opposite leg back, drop the knee down. Inhale, the arms reach up. Good. Stay here for an exhalation. Good. Inhale, lengthen up, look up. Exhale, hands drop. Good, now send the other foot back. Come into plank. Okay, squeeze your legs, squeeze your buttocks, look forwards and then lower down. Toenails press. Now from here, you can come into Cobra or up dog. If you're an up dog, thighs lift. Notice where you're looking, look up higher. You stay here for one more breath. Now, if you're here, can you roll on your toenails? Come back into down dog. Good, breathe evenly, smoothly, squeeze your elbows. Good, begin to look forward. You're gonna step or you can hop, okay? And your hop can be a little baby hop. <laughs> okay, so we're all just taking it easy. The most important thing is to feel safe in your practice. Exhale, fold safe in your space. Good, inhale, let's come all the way up. Inhale up. Now stay lifted, exhale the arms. Okay, we're gonna do a uh, interlaced fingers back. So breathe in, reach up. Lace your fingers back behind you. And then squeeze your elbows, puff your chest forward. Look up, breathe in. And then fold. And now reach the knuckles up towards the ceiling, bring space into the side of your neck. See if you can play around with the feet now. Lift out of the heels. Okay, again, keep that safety, safe feeling inside. Okay, just explore. Now see where your range of motion can change. Can you go a little deeper? Can the hands come over a little bit more? Oh, new space. Good, we're gonna to start to bend our knees a lot and you'll feel your stomach hitting the tops of your legs. Bend, release your hands, 
Keep your hips down. We're gonna come into chair, reach your hands up. Exhale them into prayer, bring them into your center body. Here we are. So we'll spend three breaths here. So go deep, little chair, really low. Okay, can you bring weight into the heels? Lift your chest, look forward. So avoid looking at the floor. Imagine there's a mirror in front of you. Good, this is our last breath here. Breathe in. Can you sink into it? And we're gonna send our body up. Breathe in, come up. Okay, come into your forward fold. Here we go, exhale. We're gonna rejoin our sequence. Inhale, look forward, stretch. Exhale, rest your hands on the floor, step or hop back into plank. Look forward and then lower. Good, breathe in, cobra or up dog. And then exhale, push back, downward dog. Good, sync up with your breath, don't lose contact with the breath. <sighs> Push into your hands, send your hips further back. Okay, so look at your right foot. We're gonna move that right foot. Okay, so begin to indicate to it. Here you go, right foot, bend the knee. Okay, depending on your space, if you have room, and you stretch it back and up towards the ceiling. If you don't, you can keep a bend in that knee. Otherwise, straighten it. Now look forward, step your foot right next to the right hand. Okay, and then back knee comes down. I'll try my best to describe this if this means you've turned away from your camera. Good, now with your right hand, grab a hold of that right knee, twist towards that right leg and then turn right over that right shoulder, look over it. And then let that right hand lift up towards the sky. Okay. We're gonna circle the wrist. Now the left knee is down, the back knee. If you'd like to lift it up, go for it. And engage your hips. So that means squeeze your glutes. Imagine your hips squeezing together the bones. Okay, and then notice the front foot. You wanna feel into the heel without the toes gripping. We're gonna move that top hand forward and back. Like swimming in the ocean. We're gonna be in the ocean, the sea today. <laughs> Good, move from the shoulder. The shoulder takes the elbow and hand back. One more time, breathing. Exhale, now find that hand back where it was. Both hands on the floor, step your right foot back, come into down dog again. Taking caution, carefulness I should say, better word than caution. Good, hold your down dog. Now, if you're tired, you just like, it's not working for you, come into child's pose. So give yourself the space. Okay, here we go, left foot. Okay, bend the knee, begin to stretch it back if you have space, the knee can be bent. Elbows, keep them both working. Now look forward, step your left foot towards the left hand. By the way, it doesn't always get there. Sometimes you need to hoist it up <laughs> and that's totally okay. Drop the back knee, bring your left hand to that knee and push into it. So you're twisting from your belly button. Look over the left shoulder. And then we're gonna let that left hand reach up. Okay, option to keep the knee down or lift out of the knee. Okay, wherever you are with that, hug your glutes, hug your hips together. Good, look up to the top hand, circle that wrist. 
And then we're gonna start to move it. So again, from the shoulder joint, move that arm. With the sunshine, we could be at the beach. Ah, on the sand. Good. Find your breath. Let's do a nice open inhale and exhale. And we're going to bring that hand down. And then we're going to step back into down dog. But realign yourself. So squeeze your elbows, look under your body, push through your hands, send your hips further back, you know, like a dog stretches, they really go for it, your whole body. <sighs> so stay here, breathe in, lift up into your tippy toes, squeeze the thighs, and then we're gonna lower those heels, and then we're gonna lower the knees down a little bit wider than hips, and we're gonna spend a moment in child's pose. And I wanna keep a little bit of movement. So rock your hips. Okay, let's stack our hands one on top of the other and rest the forehead on top of the back of the hand. Hips swaying. Let that ocean tide carry you left and right. Good, energize the breath. So breathe in slowly, but deeply. Let it all pour out. We'll do that again. Good, last time, but hold at the top of the inhale for the count of four. Exhale, hold at the bottom of the exhale. So when your lungs are empty for the count of four, somewhere in the one, two, three, four, that range or, or longer. Good. And then breathe. Good, let your hands start to walk forwards. So find, maybe don't, don't even look, but find the edge of your mat with your pinky finger. Have your arms extended as far as they can go. Your bum's probably lifted from the heels, that's fine. Okay, and then press into the tips of the fingers, squeeze the elbows, and then let your head start to look forwards. Okay, we're gonna come forward into that space into an up dog. Okay, so pull yourself forwards. Bring your knees closer together. And then drop your hips and turn, look straight ahead of you at the horizon, the sunset. <laughs> okay, and then lower your body down. You're gonna lower down. Okay, we're gonna do a back bend. Bend your knees. You can bring your chin to your mat. Find your outer feet. Okay, Dhanurasana wheel. Grab your outer feet with your hands, <clears throat> okay? And then pull your shoulders back before you do anything. Make the shoulders do something, okay? And then lift your head up, okay? And then start to lift your thighs off the mat and then kick your feet into your hand. And then with the breath, we'll totally activate this pose. So breathe in, lift completely up. Okay, the first one. So make it gentle, but strong, <sighs> gentle, but strong. You know what I mean? Not your full range. <laughs> Again, inhale. Exhale. Good. Again, lift your gaze, look at the horizon, lower. Let's do it a couple more times. Good, last one. Shh, 
lower down, let go of the feet. Find your palms, kind of at your chest, at your ribs, hug your elbows in, rise up, up dog. Good. Knees down, tuck your toes, stretch back. Extended child's pose with the head lifted. Good, and then come up into down dog. Last one for the morning. Just take note here of how you feel in this down dog. Is it different than the first one? Is it indicating any misalignments? Or does it just feel good? Notice if you're thinking about when everything's over, so keep yourself present. And we're gonna start to step forward. So let's do it in baby steps, little steps forward. Keep the feet hip width apart. Grab a hold of the elbows, hang. Drop in. Good, bend the knees, bounce the hips, bounce, bounce, bounce. And then let your hands stay here. Bend your knees a lot so your belly's on your legs. You feel your ribs on your legs. Bring your hands to your toes. Pull your shoulders out of the side of the neck. So activate the shoulders back. And then let your hands walk up the legs. So shins, knees. Let's bring our head up last. Thighs. Good. Head back. Reach straight overhead and look there. Good. Hold your hands together. Lace your fingers. And then squeeze your bum and push your hips forward and turn this into a back bend. Good, and then come out, soften your neck, look forward, release your hands, roll your shoulders. Last and final twist, twist, nice challenging one. We have some time, which is great. We're gonna twist into chair pose. So our feet come together. So chair pose, this one, right? This is the twisted version. So when your feet are together, feel like your whole body is one unit. You've got one giant leg, it's hugging in, the bum is working. I think this is a good one for side profile. Okay, we're gonna hold this, but it's gonna feel really strong. So squeeze. Drop, drop, drop down. Look at your knees. Okay, we're gonna twist over to, let's twist to our right. So I'll mirror you guys. So twist over, bring your left elbow to the outside of that right knee. Look at your knees. Now notice how one is pulling forward. Bring it back into matching the other knee. Your hands come into prayer. Sit down lower, squeeze your buttocks and press that outer elbow into the side of the leg and look up over that um, right shoulder. Good. The more you squeeze your bum, the more you'll feel your core begin to activate and lift up and into your body. Big deep breaths. Think about wringing out a wet towel, that stuff coming out. Do that to our organs. Last one. Soften back to the middle. Send your body up. Breathe in big send up. Hands are in this prayer. Thumbs are locked. Exhale. Come to the second side. Look at your knees. Bring that elbow out. Okay, now your right knee is pushing forward to so pull it back, squeeze your butt. Okay, and turn to look over the left shoulder. Sit down deeper, squeeze your butt, lift your belly in and look, gaze over the shoulder. Last breath. Back to the center, launch up. Exhale wide. Good, roll your shoulders. Okay, and we're gonna finish just wringing out. So that's some deep stuff in the middle and we'll bring all that out. Okay, so shake it out. And I highly suggest 
just downing a glass of water. Twist and then just get it all out. <laughs> you might end up doing this in your day. <laughs> la la la. <sighs> Good. Turn your head. Good. Shake it out. We're all done. So we're going to finish standing. Feet together. Not feel good, that flicking all those joints, right? Sense in the legs, everything hugging into this midline. And then the hands come and they come right into your heart and they press together. And then you stand with noble posture, shoulders back, legs strong, feet grounded. And we're gonna tuck our chin under, gaze towards the fingertips. Good. And then I'm going to bring my thumbs to my forehead with a gentle press. Bring them down to my lips. I'll bow in. I say namaste to each and every one of you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much. And hopefully see you Wednesday or Friday. <laughs> Enjoy your week. Lots of sunshine today. See you soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.